Hey everybody, we're doing something today which I didn't know if I was going to be doing in 2021, but I am going into the Logic app folder here and I am turning off open using Rosetta. So we're going to go universal with this thing. One of the biggest reasons we can do that today is that Waves updated all of their apps to version 13. And um, now it is fully qualified to run on the M1. And so we're going to see how this goes here. You're seeing, I haven't done this before now. I'm do, doing this real time on a recording. So hopefully you don't see a look of horror on my face in a moment here. Um, you can see I don't have that many of their plugins, just 96 of them in different versions. Uh, and so, whew. Let's see exactly what happens here with this. I use probably about six Waves plugins regularly uh, that I couldn't uh, live without. And so as long as those ones are going to be working, this is one of them right here, the Waves Head Tracker. Uh, I use that all the time. And so it was really working poorly. Even in Rosetta, it was so-so, but without Rosetta, it wasn't working at all. And so now we're going to be able to test this out and we're going to see if we can go universal. There's a couple of plugins I use from other companies that um, I could live without or just move into Rosetta if I ever needed them. Uh, and so I don't know if I'll miss them that much. Uh, one of the big ones, of course, is the uh, East West um, libraries, the Composer Cloud. Uh, but I found myself using that a little bit less lately. And so I could, you know, turn it off and not worry about it too much. Let's open up one of our old projects. And um, I don't have my external drive connected apparently, but here we go. So it looks like we do have this happen in. Let's just pull up for instance, the waves, the one that I use, uh, well, some of the most. I use Oceanway. Man, that is so snappy. It is definitely snappier than when using it in Rosetta. I'm turning on the head tracker right now. There it is. Tracking information. And let's turn on, it says it's, it has the NX on there, but I don't see the head moving. Hmm. Okay, so let's do a quick new project. Don't save. See just how this is working with um, the 360 immersive. Uh, stuff. So we're going to go into project settings, audio. Okay, so there may have been an issue there with my audio because it was in 44.1 when I first opened this, um, but it's now 48. So hopefully everything's back to normal. If it had an issue at all, you just never know. And, um, on this, let's put the, well, let's do this a separate way. Let's set up our surround sound channel first. And let's do waves B361 to four. That looks good. We are going to do under utility, just a test oscillator. We'll put that in the background. And then the thing that I couldn't get to work at all without this, let's do the NX Ambisonics four to two. As soon as this is recognized here, 
there's that and head motion is there. So if I move my head around, perfect. Cool. Okay, so this now Ooh, that may just be too soft. Let me turn it back up. There we go. And it looks like it's all, this is all working. So this is the one suite of things that I really like to use a lot of. Um, but of course now all of these other ones are all M1 universal compatible. And so we can definitely get some more of these into the workflow now in a universal setting. Uh, some things I'm assuming here, uh, let's do a new instrument track. So reason I don't know, I haven't tested out Universal yet. East West, it's almost guaranteed not to fully work right this moment. But um, you can see I don't use a lot of third party instruments, at least on this system. Let's do it. Let's see if it's working. Reason Rack, we'll know pretty quick, I think, because uh, in the past it just wasn't even doing anything. So this says there's an update. So we'll check it out and see if that's working. It actually loaded, which is good. Although it's freaking out. So it, this one may not be fully working yet. That tutorial window just keeps opening and closing. But the instrument sounds okay. It'll be, I'll need to test this out. Obviously there's some glitch happening that maybe this update will fix. So uh, more to come on that, but uh, amazing. I can start using the, uh, the non Rosetta version of Logic on a more regular basis. For those of you who are still using plugins, which aren't, uh, universal yet. Um, sad day, but hopefully eventually we'll get all of it there and waves getting there, I think is a huge first step. Okay. That's it. Uh, hope you're having a good week. More videos coming this week.